Hey, this is Adasa, the voice of Dolores from Disney's Encanto, and you're listening to the Magic Our Way podcast with Kevin, Danny, Eli, and Rachel. And because I am the voice of Dolores, I gotta say, hey, grew to live in fear of Bruno stuttering and stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate him with the sound of falling sand. Tss, tss, tss. Stay tuned for more. Jumbo, everyone. Harambe. And welcome to another edition of the Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. The Magic Our Way podcast. They are truly magical and whatnot. Sante Sana, everyone. You're listening to the Magic Hour Podcast from New Orleans, Louisiana. And on this show, we invite you to feel the libation. Feel it, feel it. We are Artistic Bus talking about Disney stuff, and this is the show in which every opinion is welcome. MagicHourWay.com is where you can find this. For this hub, Rachel tells us about her recent trip to Disneyland. And look, this isn't your typical polished practice pixie dust and Disney podcast. Nuh-uh. We are not in Walt Disney World every day trying to tell you how the mummy is in the graveyard in the recently reopened Haunted Mansion. That's right, Kev. We're just here to drink, talk some Disney, and welcome Rachel back to the madness. I'm glad to be back. It's been a little break here. Yeah. yeah. Happy to be here. The show sucked without you, so we're happy to have you back as well. <laughs> Plus, you went to um, Disneyland, so I kind of want to hear that. Yeah. I know. I'm excited to talk about Disneyland. Your yeah. rating's gold. Like, our numbers have totally <laughs> fallen off the map without you. Tanked. Uh, yeah, try to do what we could. <laughs> oh, <no>. Terrible. <laughs> That's right. So just listen up while we think up what we drink up. My name is Kevin. And I'm Danny. I'm Eli. And I'm Rachel. So guys, look, enough of our jibber-jabber, man. We're ready to hear all about Rachel's Disneyland trip. Welcome to the Hub, your main topic segment of the show. The only segment of the show for this one. That's all we need. Yeah, but I am really excited about this one because it's about one of my favorite places, and that is Disneyland out there in Orange County, California. And Rachel had a chance to go out there, jealous, and uh, experience the wonderment that is Disneyland. And if you're any kind of Disney Parks fan, you've got to yeah. visit Disneyland at least once. That has got to be your mecca. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for that park, none of your other parks would have ever happened. It's such a great little place. And I'm excited to hear what Rachel has to say. In her. It, it was a travel agent trip, right, Rachel? It was, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, man, take it away. The floor is yours. Where, do, where, where are we starting? Yeah, well, I guess the first place to start is the weather. Oh. Folks, if you're looking to plan a summer trip, I don't know what else you need to know about yep. planning a summer trip other than the weather is so wonderful Southern at California. Disneyland in the summer. Yeah, Southern California and the weather. If you're comparing that to Orlando, there's just no comparison. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, seriously, it's hot. Orlando's hotter than here. Yes. That humidity feels like a heavy blanket. Oh. Be all- and you got to yes. breathe it. Yeah, it's like yeah. breathing cotton. Yeah, so it is hot in Southern California in the summer. I, you know, I can't say it wasn't hot, but it's hot from basically like 12 to 4. Yeah. So you've got like four hours in the middle of the day. And if you can find shade, mm-hmm. you're golden. You're like even eating outside from 12 to 4, totally fine as long as it's covered and there's shade. So nice. just good. really, really doable. And then in the morning, it was like 70s. In the evening, you needed a sweatshirt. <sighs> it was nice. She paints a beautiful picture. Yeah. <laughs> They're like looking longingly for those <laughs> of you that are audio. Man, those Southern California nights, I remember were freaking gorgeous and comfy as heck. Mm, yes. yes. I just. Yeah. Oh. Open to midnight every night. Yes, that's true. If you like cooler weather and you're a night owl, Disneyland is perfect for you. The weather's killer. Yeah. Book it through Rachel. Rachel. Magic yeah, please. I would love to help you book a trip to Disneyland. Um, I've been a few times. And so this was not a first time trip for me, but. It's always great. And it's not just the weather. The parks are just so much more convenient. Mm -hmm. Everything's just a little easier to navigate. It's just a much lower stress trip. There are things that I like better at Disney World. So I'm not going to say that it's not worth it to go to Disney World too. For me, Animal Kingdom is like a non-negotiable. I love Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there's just so many perks and pros to going to Disneyland. 
So I flew in on Tuesday morning. My flight took off from New Hampshire around seven o'clock in the morning. So it was pretty early. Wow. Did you fly into John Wayne? I did not fly into oh, John Wayne. Oh, no. Where'd you fly I, into? I flew into Long Beach, which was oh. beautiful. Have you ever flown yeah, into Long Beach? Yeah, it is Beach? nice. It's a little farther away, but it's nice. I've done John Wayne. I've done LAX. I've never done Long Beach. Yeah, Long Beach yeah. is a good option. Yeah, every now and then. Long Beach is not as far as LAX, but it's a little bit farther than John Wayne. Right. And the whole airport, or at least the part that I was in, which was like arrivals, terminal, all the way into ground transportation and, and baggage claim, is like outdoors, like open air. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's really cool airport. pretty. Don't venture too far out of the airport, but it's a nice airport. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not. Long but Bridge I, is a little rough. <laughs> yeah. And uh, kind of coincidental, I sat next to an influencer, like a Disney influencer on the plane. Oh. Somebody I followed. Uh, so shout out to Michael Does Diz. Michael Does Diz. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Um, he's on Instagram. He might be on other platforms too, but I don't follow him anywhere else. But he was right next to me in the line to get on the plane. We flew Southwest down there. Mm -hmm. Um, and so he was right with me in line to get our seats in Southwest. And I was like, Oh, um, excuse me, sir. I follow you on Instagram and I like your, your, uh, I almost said channel. That's not the right one. Your account. I don't know. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) he was very nice. He was very nice. Yeah. Slide it to your DMs. Yes. No, I have. Actually, maybe I have DM'd him before, mostly because he like has this thing about riding in the 15th row on Big Thunder Mountain. And I so if I ever get the 15th row, I usually take a picture and send it to him because like, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway. Yeah. So it was cool. We sat on the plane next to each other as well. So, shout out um, to Michael. Does shout this. Out. That's great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then we took the ride share to Disneyland Hotel, which is where I stayed. It was my first time staying at Disneyland Hotel. You oh. all stayed there, right? Yes. Oh, I love Disneyland Hotel. Our last Hotel. trip. I love it. I love it. Favorite hotel in Disneyland. It was the last one I hadn't done. So I stayed at, um, it's now going to be called Pixar Place, the hotel. Yeah. Um, oh. It was Paradise Pier. So mm-hmm. I had stayed there. And then we Grand stayed California. at Green California okay. once. Mm-hmm. And yeah. now we did Disneyland Hotel. I've also stayed at Howard Johnson off property, too. My condolences. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like Tower Johnson. It just staying in that Harbor Boulevard area saves you a bunch of money mm-hmm. and it is not a farther walk to the parks. It's just as close, but you do walk through Anaheim. And so you you do lose the magic a little bit. Yeah. yeah skosh. A, a little bit, especially it's after nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your bus stop escapades were hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody hasn't listened to their Disneyland trip report from last year, you got to go listen. The stories are amazing so funny. yeah it's it's <laughs> simply just outrageous it's great yeah it's like yeah. gem it, it just happens to us that's you know, all if, if that's what we're remembered for at the end of all this like whenever we move on and Whoa. go and realize if i'm good with that yeah that was a crazy that trip. works that works uh i have nothing like that here to report but we did have a great time um so i did love the disneyland hotel it was my first time staying there i would say the pros are the pool oh the monorail pool yeah we did the monorail water slide. I was about that to ask if we did the slide. Great. Yeah. Oh, I think that's my favorite Disney resort pool water slide. Yeah. And the Disney resort is great. That, it's a beautiful, beautiful resort. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. To give some context, Rachel, you did this like a travel agent trip, right? We did. Yeah. Were you all there at the Disneyland Hotel or were you all spread no. out? No. Okay. Because we had to pay for the hotel on our own. Oh. So we got to pick where we wanted to stay. So I split the room with my colleague, Elizabeth. Did you get a travel, a travel agent discount at least? We did, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. good. Good for yeah. y'all, man. Sorry. Um, so positives, pool area. Pool area, big positive. Great poolside drink. Mm-hmm. Um, Trader Sam's? Trader Sam's is right there. Beautiful. Although, can we say, I have some fighting words. I think Walt Disney World's Trader Sam's is better. Gr- Grotto better than Disneyland. Interesting. And why is that? Why, 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 why so, you that decision? Yeah, my why is that, at least in my experience, and I've been to both multiple times, so mm-hmm. it's not just a one-off. There are more fun effects for the drinks in Walt Disney World. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair point. Okay. Fair point. Okay. But you can't really sit anywhere. To, you know, that one feels really cramped for the effect. They're both cramped. And in fact, the Disneyland one is yeah. more cramped. Is, yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, you I know thought, it is. <laughs> well, we sat outside most of the time. It's easier to sit outside, Dave. You but the, the yeah. trade-off is that you yeah. got Southern California weather, so you can sit outside. If you try right. to do that at Grotto, right. 
Good luck. I just remember yeah. we went the one time it was kind of easier to navigate walking through it. Whereas in Disney World, it's so dark in there. I'm always afraid I'm going to step over somebody. Somebody's going to fall on me or something. I'm always scared of stepping something nasty. All right, well, I'm going to let her yeah. get her, her reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. So I love cast members everywhere. I thought everybody was great. Mm-hmm. My other reason why I didn't love Trader Sam's at Disneyland is the cast members were kind of cranky. Oh, at Disneyland? Oh, what? Yeah. Disneyland? Yes, they were cranky. They weren't even having fun. So, yeah, the service was not great. There okay. weren't as many drinks that triggered something fun. They were sold out of most of their souvenir cups. Oh, okay. Which, that. like, not a big deal for me because I'm not buying them anyway. But, like, the they didn't have the pearl. That drink isn't there at all. Um, mm. They don't have, like, nearly as many souvenir cups either. So, yeah. I don't know. I just, I think that the experience is better at the Walt Disney World one. The people are a little more fun at the Walt Disney World one, in my experience. The mm. Disneyland one, no one's really, like, talking to each other unless they're with their party. Which normally I like, but for some reason at Trader <laughs> Sam's, like I'm here to have tiki bar and drinks, and I, I'm okay chatting with you. Yeah, if, you know, like let's <laughs> chat and have a nice time. In Disneyland, everybody was just kind of with their own group, which was fine, but just didn't add to the atmosphere like the fun times I've had mm-hmm. at Walt Disney World's Grog Grotto Trader Sam's. Okay. So I I like Trader Sam's at Disneyland. I like it better at Walt Disney World, in my opinion, except. The thing that I will give to the Trader Sam's at Disneyland is they have my very favorite drink, which is the Shipwreck on the Rocks. It's mm. what I get every time we go. Okay. It is Maker's Mark bourbon with agave nectar mm. and freshly muddled lime and mint. Ooh. Oh, not lime. I'm sorry. Lemon. Freshly muddled lemon and mint. Either way, yummy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm a Maker's Mark fan. That no, I'm mouth's watering right now. there with you. So good. That's my favorite one. It's like simple and delicious and refreshing. Mm. And they don't have that one at Walt Disney World. Although I have never asked. Maybe they could do it. I do recognize that as a drawback for Disneyland. And I think we we commented on this. One of the first podcast reviews we did at Disneyland is that the cast members over there are not near as pleasant. I've never had that experience at Trader Sam's in Disneyland. The bartenders and the servers over there have been nothing but kind to us. But there were other areas where I would order something and somebody was like, well, yeah, we don't have that next. <laughs> You're like, whoa, yeah, wait, yeah. hey, let me, let me finish up. So I could see that because it maybe they're used to catering to locals uh, uh, more so than... I can see that, yeah. Yeah, Disney World. So I can see where customer service could be an issue. The effects on the drinks, that doesn't bother me too much because the shtick gets kind of old to me after yeah. a while two shots of rum because we're like in the middle of a conversation i like two shots of rum. like I, what i was saying was <laughs> it, is, it is loud in there yes yeah, it's yeah. very loud it's yeah. very close in now if you're new to that and you want to see the effects and yeah it's kind of a, annoying but if you've been there for a while and you've already seen what happens when you're the hippopotamati or hippopotamati yeah, you got it. You yeah. nailed it. that's right Normally, the mouth doesn't work when I want it to. <laughs> um, but, you know, I don't, I don't need the effects as near as much. I, I am a little bit bummed by the customer service, so I hate that they did that. I, I really yeah, do. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm with you, but I'm going to say that the one at Disney World, it's always been to me that I guess they're engaging once they serve you the drink. But I remember one time we went and we didn't get our drinks for a while. Now, granted, we go so late that they might be set to close. Mm-hmm. But I remember yeah. one time I had to go up to the lady at the bus. Excuse me, ma'am. What effect happens when you get to drink now? Like, what what we got to get for that? I've always had an easier time getting into Disneyland's Trader Sam's than yeah. ever getting into Polynesian. It's more casual, for Trader sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Is. What is a line? Normally, when you go to the Trader Sam's in Walt Disney World, you check in, you give them your name, you end up back at the Tambu Lounge having Lapu Lapus, and an hour or so later, you get the text that your table is ready, and you're like, I'm done. Like, I don't need to spend any more money on drink. I'm cool. I had a good time. I'm finished. And so that would be the one thing is that the Disneyland, I've never had a problem getting into Trader Sam's, even though it is smaller on the inside. Yeah. We normally would end up outside. But because of the magnificent weather in California, it didn't really matter. But that the proximity to the outside to the main portion, I think, of Disneyland is better than at Walt Disney World. Because I think the outside portion of the Trader Sam's at Walt Disney World, you feel like you're kind of disconnected from the activity. You mean when you're disconnected outside in Walt Disney World? 
Uh, yeah, and Walt Disney World, you're a little more disconnected than yes. you are in Disneyland. Because Disneyland, you're right there by the entrance. You, they open the door, you can hear the activity, and you know you're not that far from the actual Peter Sam. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. like resort. But Rock Grotto, it's like, you know, you may have some of the torches, but it's like you feel like you're you're outside. You're like far yeah. removed. You're like a, a stepchild right. or something. When the doors are closed, if you want to get a drink at that point, you got to go through the cut-through window and all that other stuff. Yeah. That's a great point. And maybe to make it less confusing, we should just call it Grog Grotto and Trader Sam's. Sure. So, yes, you're right. When I feel like when I'm outside at Grog Grotto over in Disney World, I feel like I'm kind of cut off from the Trader Sam's experience. Sure. If I'm sitting outside yeah. Trader Sam's in Disneyland, I don't feel that way at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. And that's the magnificence of the Trader Sam's over there. They also have food. Yes. And I want to say that their food options are a little bit more plentiful than the one over in Disney World, right? Yeah, they are. I would say they was so they do have more food options and more variety of food. They have less in the way of like appetizers. Like the the Grog Grotto menu is very appetizer heavy. Yes. Mm -hmm. More of a lounge menu. Mm -hmm. And because the Enchanted Tiki Room Trader Sam's in Disneyland is next to their quick service. Mm -hmm. You can get their quick service dishes as table service dishes. So they have more like entrees. Absolutely. That is awesome. I got a ramen. It was good. I, I bet you it was really, really good because you're out there in California. Yes. Mm. And they had the AC turned way up that night. It was so cold in there. And mm. I was like, y'all, I need soup. It's freezing in here. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a great ordering service outside in and around the Disneyland right. Hotel. Mm -hmm. When you sit in the pool, you've got people coming up to you, taking mm. your drink orders and everything like that. Yes. It is so efficient. It works yes. so well. Very well. And I, I, I'll never forget that when we met y'all. For dinner that night at Blue Bayou, Eli and I were gone. Mm -hmm. we, oh, yeah. we, we were completely drunk. I, I mean, remember, yeah, you were tripping in the Blue Bayou. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were stumbling over ourselves. Going to, now, by the time we left, we were so... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we were eating the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we were eating. Yeah. And we, we, yeah. Yes, but we had so much fun. Trader Sam's, I don't care where you go, East Coast, West Coast, it's, it's all great. good. It's always a good yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. What, what tower did you stay in? Do you remember? I stayed in the Frontierland Tower. Oh, nice. And which was nice. Yeah. We just had a standard, you know, the the least expensive one we could get. Um, we so I love the pool. I love Trader Sam's. I love the downtown Disney location about Disneyland Hotel. I also like that the whole thing kind of feels like nineteen nineties Disney to me. Yes. A little yes. bit. It has that feel. Yes. Um, but I'll say that's my first con as well, is that the rooms need a refurb. They're looking a little tired. Really? Hmm. Yeah. When they do a refurb, they have to keep those headboards, the light up. Oh, headboards. the yes. light up headboards are Maybe. awesome. Yes. Keep. Thank and you. And like, I would even keep the styling of the room exactly the same. It okay. was just like the carpet looked tired. The furniture had dings in it. it okay. Just like, it's just tired looking. That's, well, that's cause Kirk keeps jumping on everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the sconces, like with the Mickey. Oh, the sconces hands. are awesome. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Keep it the same. It just needs new versions of that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. That's fair. Yeah, I, fair I like enough. that. Yeah. Um, so I just felt like the room, for the price that people pay to stay there, the quality of the room could have been better, for sure. Mm, okay. But, because they're, I mean, they're charging sometimes like $800 a night. Ooh. What? Wow. Okay, yes. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Almost Highway robbery. Wow. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I mean, like, that's peak season. But okay. that's not what we paid. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 it's not cheap to stay there at all. Yeah, it is not cheap. But I've gone there and paid three hundred a night and felt completely satisfied. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is three hundred a night is not a reality there anymore. Damn, yeah. that is depressing. What is the reality now? I would say an average would be like five. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, <laughs> like ooh. <laughs> But for, I mean, even for 500 a night, I My felt like was it again really Pixar nice Pier, here I come? Is that, what is it? I know, for real. <laughs> or DVC yeah. points, if I can get them. Yeah. Yes. That's how we stayed at the Grand Californian was DVC, and yeah. I liked the Grand Californian better. Too, I do like the Grand Californian. It's nice. So how much are you paying on average at the Grand Californian? Oh, the Grand Californian without DVC is much more expensive than okay. Disneyland Hotel. Like, so they would be more like six, 700 average per night. Mm. Yeah, but for the extra hundred bucks, maybe yeah. it's a bigger place. Yeah, yeah, I could see. Well, it's closer. You get your own entrance into California Adventure, which is really nice. Which yeah. is nice, yeah. And they have the spa. Oh, and they had that killer bar that we like. 
they do have a great bar. Sorry, yeah. moving on, moving on. <laughs> yeah, so our first day was really just Trader Sam's and hanging out at the pool at the Disneyland Hotel. We had lunch at Ballast Point, which is a brewery in downtown Disney. We ate on the rooftop bar. It was great. Um, it was kind of like a quick service sit down hybrid in the sense that you used your phone to order kind of like a mobile order, mm-hmm. but then they brought the stuff out to you. Ooh. So I got a buffalo chicken sandwich that was maybe the best buffalo chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. It had like this really great um, slaw mm-hmm. on top of the like perfectly breaded chicken thigh for mm-hmm. buffalo chicken. Great amount of sauce. Perfect. And then um, just some really great fries on the side. Mm-hmm. And then Ballast Point, you can buy their stuff um, in the grocery stores too. It's it's not that rare. And so if you've ever had the Sculpin IPA, it's called. Mm. Like they have like a grapefruit Sculpin. And, um, I'll be honest, no, I'm maybe. not an IPA person. Yeah, I'm not yeah, an IPA either. They do a ton of IPAs. Oh, okay. Um, That's so probably why, yeah. yeah. I had a pineapple Sculpin, which was really good. Okay. Good. Yeah. We started in the parks early the next day. Um, you know, we love that East Coast time. And when you wake up the first day on West Coast time and it's like six in the morning, but you're yeah. ready to go because your body thinks it's nine. Damn <laughs> it's like straight. The best. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you're amped. Love it. Yeah. So we were ready to go. We got to Disney California Adventure for early entry. They actually don't have a ton of rides open for early entry, which was a bummer. Mm. Um, they're Early entry has returned for a while after the pandemic. There was no um, park entry perk for staying at a Disneyland resort. Oh, okay. But there is now. It's the same as Walt Disney World. It's a half hour every day at both parks. Oh, okay. Wow. So, yeah, okay. exactly the same. But there's not as much open. So Radiator Springs wasn't open. I was about to ask if that one was open. Bummer. Yeah, oh. no. The big things that are open in California Adventure are Incredicoaster and Guardians of the Galaxy and Web Slingers. And I was with my friend Elizabeth. She does not do Incredicoaster. She doesn't ride Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> and she does do Web Slingers, but she had forgotten her motion sickness medicine oh, that no. morning. So we didn't want to go on that one either. So there wasn't a lot for us to do that morning. So we were the very first riders on the Monsters, Inc. Dark Ride. Yay! <laughs> I think y'all maxed out right there. That's better than anything else you ever yeah. even mentioned. That's a good ride, yes. though. I like yeah, that ride. I love... It's really good. Yeah, I love that dark ride. Yes. Yeah, so we did that, and then we got in line right after that for the Rogers the Musical oh, yes. package. Yes! So they had... they had, And they still do. They have a package where you can pay $29, and you get priority seating at your show. So okay. You pick your show in the morning, and then you get to just get in early and pick your seats. Talk about it and talk slowly. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting to hear about Rogers the Musical ever since I saw it on Hawkeye. Damn straight. Yeah. I was like, man, I want to see this that. That seems amazing. Yeah. So right after the ride, we got in line for the premium seating package for Rogers the Musical. And oh. this is still something that Disneyland is selling, at least as of August 10th. Mm-hmm. It's $29 per person. Okay. And you pick your show when you buy the premium seating package. Mm -hmm. And then you arrive to the show early and you get in before anybody else. And they just let you pick whatever seat you want. So there's no like, please move down to the end of the row or, you know, you get to pick your seat. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Let me just to help me visual. Where exactly about is it? The theater is the the big Hyperion theater. That's it's oh. next, yeah, it's next to uh, Guardians of Galaxy, isn't it? Or oh, wow. Close yeah. To there? yeah, in that mm. area. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you get to pick your seat in the theater, and it comes with a soft drink and a bucket of popcorn, except it's this <laughs> red, white, and blue kettle corn, and it was actually the worst popcorn I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> oh, no. It was disgusting. It was from it was, the night before, that's why. Yeah, oh my, it must have been. It was awful. I actually spit it out. Like, and I don't oh, no. do that very often. I normally just like take it and whatever, but it was like so stale and awful. <laughs> what you're saying is, is that it tasted like America's ass. Yes. <laughs> it was so bad. Yes. yes. I, it, that is she America's can spit ass. This out all day, pretty much. <laughs> it was yes. terrible. Yes, that's not really, good at really all. Bad. That is America's so, ass. So, uh, <laughs> don't recommend the popcorn. Okay. Sure. At least not that early in the morning, right? Well, so for us, Never. we bought the late show. So oh. We, oh, we got in okay. line, we bought the premium package, and okay. then. You get nothing at that point. You just Uh-oh. come back later and you get your soft drink and your terrible popcorn. <laughs> and, um, 
and then you pick your seat. But I was I was like, well, whatever. We at least got the buckets. We can refill them for cheap. And then I remembered Disneyland doesn't do the cheap popcorn bucket fills. Oh. It's not a thing there. Oh, wow. Because people would just do it all the time because they all live there. Yeah. Anyway, so there was no benefit at all. I made sure that bucket found a recycling bin. Oh, yeah, wow. what a waste. But the seats were, we got to pick our seats, so it was worth it for that. And I'll get okay. back to Rogers because we didn't, like I said, we didn't see it till way later in the day. Okay, so you bought your yeah. package and then you, you went so off. So cliffhanger. I okay. cliffhanger okay. Right. Right. Hanging a little bit. All right. um, so, but before we bought the package, we were waiting in line and I saw the shawarma, breakfast shawarma cart mm, <laughs> right down the awesome. way because you're right there. And so I was like, perfect. We're standing here in line for another 10 minutes. I'm going to go buy breakfast shawarma. And so I walk to the cart. The person is there. The shawarma is there. It's mm-hmm. wrapped. Everything's good to go. Oh, I Lord. say, two breakfast shawarma, please. Mm-hmm. And they're like, sorry, we can't sell it to you until 8 o'clock. Oh. That was the official park <laughs> open time. And I just thought to myself, like, really? You really can't? The bre- We're all present. You're present. I'm present. The shawarma is present. Why can we not? Fresh. <laughs> why? Your little computer system is on. Like, I don't know. Why? Why how, can't you how, just How long did you have to shawarma? wait? 10 minutes. <laughs> but still. You're there. Schwarmer's well, there. there. <laughs> you and Schwarmer cannot meet because no. policy. And the cast member was there. We're all there. We're all just standing there. Oh, <laughs> anyway. That's that's torture. It was torture. So I watched back. We bought our seating package. And then we went back to that cart. And I said, hello again. <laughs> <laughs> to breakfast, Schwarma, please. <laughs> and I'm about ready to bury you on a podcast. By the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. So we got our breakfast shawarma, which was delicious. If nice. anybody's looking for a great breakfast at um, Disney California Adventure, I highly recommend the breakfast shawarma. This is my second time having it. It's scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. It's impossible sausage, so mm-hmm. it is plant-based, nice. um, but delicious. Okay. It has an aioli on it. Mm. It has a plant-based cheese that was pretty good. Okay. And potato barrels. Can't go wrong. Oh. Potato barrels. Tater Pause tail. real quick. Okay, so you say it's plant based. So is mm-hmm. even the eggs in like imitation eggs? It must be, but they were good. Oh, scrambled. okay. Oh, awesome. I could eat yeah. that. Yeah, great. great. Yeah, and then it comes with folks a maple sriracha sauce. Maple sriracha sauce. Maple yeah, sriracha. it's more. It's more like a maple syrup than a sriracha. Um, so it's more on the maple side, but it's like a spicy maple syrup, spicy maple. but it's not super sweet and sticky. It's a little bit more um, vinegary than that. Hmm. So it's like with... tangy and a little spicy and a little maple. It's really good. I'm going to try to wrap my taste buds around that, but I want to try it. Yeah. The flavors are there and that sauce is where it's at. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. I'll and try it. It's all in a really lovely pita. You know, oh, yeah, flat bread, love it. so good. Yeah. Mm. So mm. anyway, highly recommend the breakfast shawarma. And then we just kind of enjoyed California Adventure, took in the, the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. We got drinks at Avengers Campus because to our bodies, it's like noon at this point. So why not? Why not? Um, and so we did um, the PIMS tasting lab. Nice. Where they have the beers and the they have some beer cocktails there. I used to really like the Honey Buzz cocktail. They've redone it. It used to be gin and IPA and something else. And then now it's whiskey, which I thought I would like better, but it was way too sweet. I don't know what else they, whatever the other thing is that they put in it was way too sweet this time. You know, like the last time we went there, I was kind of disappointed by the Pim Tasting Lounge. Doesn't sound like yeah. much has changed. Yeah, no, I didn't love the next time we went. I just got a beer because I was like, I don't want to take a chance on those cocktails again it was so icky sweet and the sense. one yeah. my friend got was icky sweet too i remember Ooh. going there and we got like one drink and everyone collectively did not like their drink so i'm a little disappointed by that that's a shame mm. yeah, yeah, yeah that they haven't fixed that yet you're calling it the pims tasting lounge you should yeah. have some some really nice things there yeah, they're, they're the yeah. Cup. Yeah. that stuff was still weird the beers were good but I mean, okay, they're not okay. Beers. That's that's cool because I didn't try a beer. I, I was going for cocktails. We, so, we usually so don't do beers, beers though, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. We did some Radiator Springs time. Nice. Now we're talking the play at Radiator Springs um, and Radiator Springs Racers is the single rider line. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful trick that was! Every time we went, the wait was well over an hour. We went right through the single rider line. We never waited more than 30 minutes. We usually waited less than 30 minutes, and we always ended up getting in the same car. 
Nice. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it just worked out that way. But um, even still, like if you're just two people, you're going to end up, you know, maybe one car apart because sure. it's a, it's just like test track. It's two, two rows of three. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, they're going in even parties. So they're putting a single rider in almost every single car. But they don't do like lightning lanes like we. Well, no, they do do lightning lanes, don't they? Yeah. You just have to pay for it. So they're Genie Plus purchase. That still does not include certain rides. Like Disneyland always used to right. exclude. Okay, cool. It's like Max, yeah, so, Max Pass. Good yeah. for them. Yeah. yeah, right. So it's and it's just like at Walt Disney World. So it Disney California Adventure Radiator Springs Racers is not included in Genie Plus. Mm. And at Disneyland, it's uh, Mickey and Minnie's and um, Rise of the Resistance. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. But certain attractions, like say Peter Pan and Snow White, they oh, could, yeah. yeah, they're still. If you're going to ride that, you're going to wait in line, right? Right. Yes. Okay. So, like, all cool. those fantasy land dark rides, none of them have lightning lane. I love that. Yeah. They got yeah. Those, the switchbacks. Yeah. Yep. All yeah, the traditional switchbacks. It's awesome. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. But, yeah. So, that's what we did. And then we had lunch at Lamplight Lounge. Have you guys been to Lamplight Lounge? Yes. I haven't okay. been there. Absolutely. Nice? Oh, no, so just JP yeah. recommended it, and we went over there one time separate. And we didn't get to go with JP because it was too packed. But mm-hmm. we went there one, and it was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like outdoor open air seating where we were. There is some indoor seating, but mm-hmm. um, there's tons of outdoor. And they had lobster nachos. We got potato oh. skins. We had cocktails. They were. It was great. Mm. Damn, mm-hmm. getting hungry. Yeah, Damn straight. We yeah, we did a lot of eating then. this yeah. particular day. But then my birthday gift to my friend Elizabeth was a visit to the spa. So we went to the spa. You good hey. friend. You good friend. Whoa. Classic. <laughs> now, personally, if I was you, I'd be like, Elizabeth, you owe me because <laughs> I could not ride Spider Man Web Slingers. Oh, yeah. I couldn't ride <laughs> yeah, the Galaxy. Right, yeah. I couldn't do any of that because of you. I don't need a massage. Ah. Yeah. Well- <laughs> Good so for you. Right. That's awesome. For that's being so, so magnanimous. But she go, she go, she's going to get the, on the back end. Yeah, I did get to. She was yeah. she's totally cool with me riding them. I just didn't want to that morning. Oh, wait, you rode them by yourself when when she couldn't go on? Um, I did eventually ride those myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, yeah, you're there. We yeah. did. Just not that morning. But yeah, mm. so we went to the spa. It was her birthday gift. We got pedicures. She actually got the pedicure. I was supposed to get one too, but they had like a staffing issue with the nail technicians or something. And so I just got uh, like a foot massage service. What? Oh, a foot yeah, massage. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Service. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's was, not what They you call go- it the step in time. <laughs> oh, my All right, props on the name, but All how right. much is how much is a foot massage? Damn. Gone? Well, so yeah, this part was kind of a bummer. So the pedicure was like sixty dollars. Uh huh. Right. And then they wanted to reschedule me for this other service because now there wasn't going to be two nail technicians on. Uh huh. And so they were like, "Oh, it'll be the same length of time. It's a foot massage, like a whole kind of leg foot massage service, and you guys can still do it next to each other." And I was like, "Great." I said, "I assume it's less money because you're not getting the pedicure anymore." Damn I'm straight. Paid. And they were like, "No, it's double." <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, what? It was crazy. It was totally crazy. So I was like, "Okay, I'm not doing that." And so then they suggested the step in time, which was um, kind of a similar like foot leg massage, but it was less. Um, time so it was like 20 minutes um, and that was like 60 bucks yeah you should have told them I'm stepping away yeah it was I'm about the same bucks. as the pedicure no. I, yeah. I, I step away if it ain't full body that's all I'm saying out of time well yeah, yeah. Well, but no if you're getting a pedicure to $60 that's yeah that's nothing for full body massage it's gonna be way more but way just, more yeah yeah, yeah. That's, you should have more area but my feet felt amazing afterwards oh well then we're good, good. Yeah, so you're good. rejuvenated it made me wish that i had done like a longer full body massage so well then you need down. to tell josh you need to get his technique down and don't be tickling yeah. enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah. better Next step time. up when you step in and this the spa there is beautiful really pretty okay, oh, okay. Have you been? Yeah, okay. no i have not, no, not been i want to go no. but yeah it's like whenever we go we end up having so much of a relaxing time in around Disneyland yeah. because you don't have to go right. go go like in Disney World. Right, it's easy. That the massage is not necessarily yeah. that thing, but I want to. 
Yeah, mm. it's nice there. Really nice. Okay. Um, okay. So I would definitely recommend the spa. The maybe not the step in time because it's a little overpriced. I think, but I, I did bit. feel great after. So you know. Well, whenever. hey, that's good. Was, you vacation. Many rejuvenated though. feet. For yes. Your yes, and yeah. then, and we got to sit together, and it was the birthday gift I had hoped it would be. Was so she was happy good. with the gift though? She was. Yeah, really happy. Oh, yeah, good. Nice. Uh, okay. Is Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth, has she been there as long as you have? She has, yeah, just about the same. Like okay. we we started a few months apart. That's not the one you did a podcast with, is it? Or yeah, this is my friend that I did the podcast with before. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, uh, our podcast was called Wishful Thinking. So if you go back, there are some episodes there on iTunes and all the other podcast places. If you want to check that out, that's right, guys. Aww. Go back and listen, man. Yeah, yeah I'll subscribe. Yeah. I subscribed and stuff when I knew they had it. We'll have to bring reason- her on. She was our number one recruit. Yeah, That's right. Exactly. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> so we went back into Disneyland right after the spa because we had not seen the Magic Happens Parade, which is their new parade. They're saying it's for the Disney 100, but actually it started about three weeks before the pandemic shut the parks down. And oh. then they just brought it back this year. It took that long. Wow. Um, it was the most beautiful daytime parade I've ever seen. These floats are incredible, guys. Like the scenery. I posted some pictures on my social media. So go back to Instagram. I'm going to do a whole like um, sticky story highlights. That's what they're called on Instagram mm-hmm. with this parade. I have a dream of making a TikTok video of this parade. I'm going to do that pretty soon. <laughs> maybe in the maybe in our car trip this weekend. But these floats are incredible. I'm telling you, the just the work the Imagineers put in the to artistry. making those floats immersive. Yeah. yeah, so artistic and beautiful. And they have properties that don't normally get love. So there's a whole Moana float. I know they get a lot. Moana gets a lot of love now, but she right. wasn't before. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Um, there's a Sword in the Stone float. I, was nice. I love Sword in the Stone. Yeah, um, it has Merlin. It's great. And so then and they have all your regulars too, kind of your princesses and your Fab Five and uh-huh. all that jazz. Coco? Um, yes. Oh my God. The Coco float was my favorite. Okay. <laughs> so awesome. awesome. It's so awesome. It's They have the bridge. as It's like a two parter float. Oh, and then the, the Rio bridge, bridge in the middle. Nice. Yes. <laughs> it's so cool. And then they have this, the huge, you know, like the spirit animals. Yes. Yes. They have a big one that follows the float. It's like um, oh, the cat. The it's Alvarez. like a puppeteer. Yeah, yeah. I love and people inside Alvarez. it. Oh, Thank I saw you. a video this the other day. I was like, "What the heck yes. is this?" Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Yes, it's incredible. It's and awesome. the song is really fun. The whole parade was great. I we only got to see it once, but I wished I had seen it twice because it was it was that good. It was a really really fun parade. Totally worth seeing. At the end, they have Aurora on a float, like after the princesses, and she's wearing like this blue and pink dress at the same time, but it's like kind of iridescent. So as she moves, it looks like it's changing color. Oh, oh it's that really is cool. so cool. Like yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so just a great parade. Um, they really like did it right. You know, sometimes you can tell when Disney does something new, but they kind of do it halfway to just yeah. say they oh, have yeah, something absolutely. new. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This was not like a halfway totally done right they did a great job this parade is awesome question uh, was maui on one of the floats yes yes maui was on the moana float how do they represent him was it a person in costume was it a how did they, they represent maui i this is gonna sound they use the term like furry right like it he he's well, he wasn't actually furry but um he was in like fully in a costume it wasn't a face character yeah it was not a face yeah. character so it was like a like a animatronic no, no, it was, it was a person a, in a suit, but it like he had a full mask. Yeah, the person in a suit, but it's not face. You don't see the face of the person. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's why yes. they call it furry, is what she's saying. Yeah. That's so, yeah, great. So you that got to experience that. That's awesome. Yeah. So we we basically just walked into Disneyland for the braid, and then we walked back out because we had to get over to Disney California Adventure for Rogers the Musical. Yay! So, <laughs> yes. So we checked in for our premium seating package, and we got the terrible popcorn. And the soft drink. Mm -hmm. And then we walked into the theater. We got to pick any seat we wanted, which was great. And then as soon as they opened the doors, a really tall guy sat in front of me. Oh, (laughs) Oh, no. What? Yeah, I should have thought that out better. That damn Ant-Man always (laughs) loving on Steve Rogers goes to everyone. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it was fine. So we, we, I could still see. It was fine. But yes, we got to watch Rogers the musical. I liked it. I went into the experience thinking 
there's no way they're going to get rid of this thing. It's going to be a permanent staple because it's so close to Avengers Campus and yeah. it fits in so well. And then I saw it and I was like, mm, I don't oh, know that this no. has lasting power. Oh, no. Yeah. No lasted power. Oh, oh that's a it, bummer. Yeah. Well, here's what I'll say. It was not visually spectacular in any way. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, like that theater, I don't know if you ever saw the Frozen show in that theater, but it had a lot of visual effects where they really used the theater. Right. You know, and like you could tell this, like the stage work and the stage management was really intricate and it was a permanent fixture in that space. This did not feel like that. It felt like a really, really, really good high school production. <laughs> like they knew really? it was going to be temporary, so they didn't put as yeah, much. Yeah, okay. I think I think that's it. I think they knew it was going to be temporary. They didn't put a ton into it. There's like no visual effects. That's a and shame. I, but it's campy. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be campy. I was going to say is is was maybe that the idea behind it was to make it look like that? Yeah, it could be. It was definitely campy. Uh, I thought it was fun. I thought it was enjoyable. It's a really small cast. Like mm-hmm. you start to you know. Sometimes in in small productions like that, you start to recognize that people are playing like four Multiple or five roles, different yeah. characters. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. like it was a really small cast, um, so you could tell that. But yeah, I mean, I I thought it was good. I don't know that I would want to see it stick around too much longer. Oh wow! I just didn't think it was worthy of the space. I think they could have made it worthy of the space, but they it was really meant to be temporary. Question: Finding Nemo the musical or Rogers the musical? What, what would oh, you do? Finding Nemo for sure. Okay, okay. Well, that says a lot. Well, yeah, yeah. Based upon uh, what you described, I could imagine. Yeah, I've seen Finding Nemo the musical once, and I was like, okay, I'm good. So now this kind of worries me. Wow. I would say, like, I've seen most of the shows on Disney Cruise Line, at least on the ships that I've been on. Okay. And I would say this was not as good as any of those. Oh, wow. I can see that, yeah. That's Damn. a bummer, man. Rogers the high yeah. school musical. <laughs> the musical. <laughs> That's what it sounds yeah. like, yeah. I mean, yeah. the performers were really talented. Like, it's nothing against them. I just, I didn't feel like it was really carefully crafted. The production wasn't as good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because they knew it was going to be temporary. That's a shame. Man. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, that, is, that is also right. just my hot take. Um, there were people I was with that loved it. So we watched Rogers the Musical. We headed back to Disneyland. Which, by the way, folks, if you have caught how many times I said we're going back and forth, it's so easy. They are literally across the street from each other. Love you it. can go back and forth. It might as well be one park. Mm-hmm. Um, Love it. Anyway, it's great. You're not waiting for a bus for 20 nope. minutes. No. Nope. No. You walk over there in five. Yeah, it was easier yeah. on the Black. feet. Way Black. easier on the yeah. feet. It's the old parking yes. lot, so it's right across the street. Beautiful. Yeah. So we did um, Bengal barbecue for dinner. Nice. Which I have no idea why they haven't put that at Walt Disney World. It's so easy. It's just a big old grill with a bunch of meat and sauce and steamed rice, and it was delicious. So yeah, I'm, I, I'm please sold. bring that to Orlando. I love I that. Nice. I'm sold. So simple. They're bringing corn dogs though. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Lord so, knows we've never had corn dogs before. Yeah, really. I mean, here's where we get into the stuff that's the best. I mean, Disneyland has almost every version of every ride except the better version, right? So what I mean is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They have it in both parks. It's exactly the same, except it's better in Disneyland. Makes sense. The queue is better in Disneyland. It fits better in Toontown than it does in Hollywood Studios. 100%. The ride itself... They rethought some of the scenes where the the scenes are a little bit bigger, mm-hmm. but you get closer to the action, which is nice. Ooh. Um, so, like, for ex- the best example is the very last scene. You know, at Hollywood Studios, when you come through, Mickey and Minnie are, like, kind of way out having a picnic. Yeah. yeah. Mickey and Minnie are much, much closer to you in Disneyland. Wow. So okay. you can see them much better, and you can see the animatronics better. Like, just the whole scene is nicer. Nice. So stuff like that. Anyway, so the redo of Toontown is so cute. They did such a nice job. It's mm-hmm. beautiful in there now. It really is like a family space that you can just kind of sit and relax and enjoy. No fights. No, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, at least. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. There's the hope. Yeah. So I really liked the new Toontown. Uh, and then we went over to Pirates of the Caribbean. And that is also a, like, I mean, a totally better version. Oh, than absolutely. Yeah. Not even but close. One hundred percent. Yeah. One over yeah. there. Um, and we saw Robin Thick. What? On what? Pirates of the Caribbean. Hey, yeah, hey, he hey. Was just, <laughs> yes, hey, hey, hey. He just was riding by on his boat, and we were walking in the queue. 
And I turned, it was one of those moments where you see somebody and you think like, oh, that person looks familiar. I must know them from somewhere. Like, I just thought I knew this person from my regular life. And then Elizabeth and I like kind of locked eyes and she's like, that was Robin Thicke, wasn't it? And I was like, that was Robin Thicke. (laughs) (laughs) You you should have yelled at him and said, you the hottest bitch in this place. (laughs) Uh, He was on the ride with his family and a VIP guide. Oh, a plaid. A plaid? Yeah. Oh, nice. We got Mickey beignets, and then we went to go watch the fireworks. And these fireworks are new for the whoa, Disney 100. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rewind. You just said the word beignets in front of three New Orleans people. Oh, yes. Okay. Mickey beignets. How do they stack yes. up? Um, They're good. I cannot imagine that you guys would think that they were great. Really? Interesting. Better okay. than Port Orleans with the boozy beignets. Oh, no, I like the boozy beignets. Boozy beignets better. Better, better. And it's not just the booze. The beignets themselves are like fluffier. They're okay. um, hollow on the inside. Yeah, that's, what you yeah, that's what you want. That's right what there. you want. The Mickey ones were fine, but they were more bread like. I can see that. You know what I mean? They were bready. I'd still try it, but yeah, I can see that. Um. So, yeah, we got beignets and we ate them on Main Street while we waited for the fireworks to start. So the the new fireworks show, it's called Wondrous Journeys. Mm. Often it is just projections, you know, because Disneyland has a a tough time with their fireworks. Their weather has to be kind of just right Right, for them to be allowed to set off the pyrotechnics. But we did get fireworks. I was very excited. There you go. It was great. Great. So this fireworks show is so great. It's worth checking out on YouTube if there's no way you can get to Anaheim. But if you can get to Anaheim, this fireworks show is worth it. It's really great. They wrote a new song for it, and I really like the song, Wondrous Journeys. You can find it on iTunes and Spotify. Oh. Um, you can just listen to it. Where did y'all watch it at? We So I watched it twice. We watched it the first night on Main Street because you can see the projections on the projections, castle a little bit, yes. but then you can see the projections on the buildings really well mm-hmm. right next to you. And then the second night we watched it in front of Small World. But they have the, I guess, spoiler alert, if anybody really doesn't want parades, or not parades, fireworks show spoilers, you want to skip ahead a little bit. But they have um, the Blue Fairy comes and flies in front of the castle. Oh, And then they have a part where they play the Immortals song by Fall Out Boy and Baymax comes across. (laughs) What? And flies. Yeah, so cool. Flies? a fallout boy song in this fireworks show is just, just cool. Like you don't normally Disney doesn't normally do that. that so it was like neat. Insanely cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and Baymax flew across and then they have Man. one part of the fireworks show that is a mashup of Moana's how far I'll go. The kind of, I want song from beauty and the beast. Right. Yeah. Hercules go the distance. So it was all three of those songs kind of mashed up. And then they also put in the one from Hunchback of Notre Dame out there. Oh, yeah. yeah out there. Yeah. How's that one go? What's that? Out there. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah that one. Da, 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 okay, 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 okay. I don't know the words. Yeah, so I'm please on stop. Yeah. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah. Um, and so they sort of mash up all of those I want songs. And it's just such a great part of the show. But the finale was Dos Orguitas, which Dos was. Which is, <laughs> is the beautiful song that makes me cry. It was a sad part of the movie, but they oh, like, yeah, okay. remixed it a little bit in this fireworks show, and it's just mm-hmm. such a beautiful ending to the show. And the the whole point of the show is Disney 100, right? So they have sure. 100 different characters represented in the fireworks show. Nice. Um, at the end, you know, Winnie the Pooh talks about not wanting it to be over, and they say, well, we're just turning the page. Oh, um, oh it's really so sweet. Cool. Oh, it's really like about celebrating the company's history. And, That's um, great. awesome. Yeah, really cool. So I like that fireworks show a lot. So did you have any like Disney 100 treats, drinks, food items, things that um, were specifically? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, there were a bunch of them. I try to avoid a lot of that stuff, All like because right. pl- it tends to just be like bad mass-produced cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. So I don't think I had any special <laughs> no Walt Hash or anything like that. Huh? I like no. that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, she's, I mean, she's right. No, I mean, she is know. right. I think she just rewrote the intro to our podcast. We're not in the parks every day trying to give you bad mass-produced cupcakes. cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did not do those. Yeah. No. But that, that Disney 100 Wondrous Journeys fireworks show is awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. Can we yes. listen to it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely check it out. 
And that last night, we went back to Trader Sam's again. So, yes, perfect. Yeah, Hopefully, great. you had a better server. Yeah. We, yeah, we had we had good servers both times. It just nobody seemed very excited to be there. So. Oh, that's a oh. shame. All right, so the next day, we started at Disneyland, and we did the early entry again. In the first 90 minutes of the day, we did all of Fantasyland plus Space Mountain and Buzz Lightyear. Nice. Like you said before, there's really no Genie Plus in Fantasyland. Right. So really, the only thing we used Genie Plus for was Space Mountain. So anyway, it just shows how much you can do at yes. Disneyland. All of those those classic Fantasyland dark rides are so good. Um, Mr. Toad's was closed. So I guess that's oh, one thing we didn't do. Alice in Wonderland, was that open? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, that's good, yeah. Alice in Wonderland that's a good ride. is amazing. That is a great ride over there. And they there. recently redid that. They did. So it's really good. Yeah. It and the Snow White's Enchanted Wish was good, too. I really liked that one. Nice. Um, I thought the improvements were... Much needed and great. Mm -hmm. It was tough to go from Alice in Wonderland and Snow White over to Pinocchio. Oh. <laughs> Pinocchio's a little sad. Daring to those. Yeah. A little bit, but when you compare Pinocchio to the Pinocchio ride we don't have in Disney World. Yeah, sure. It's much better than the non-existent one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, did you do Oka's Cantina at all? We did. So we did that one right after the next thing, which was we had breakfast at the Plaza Inn. Good. That's a good breakfast. The food was okay. It was cafeteria style, which was weird. Oh, oh wow. Weird. Why? I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, you like walk up to the stations and you just tell them what they want and they put what you want. They put it on a plate and hand you a tray. That's like a strange. cafeteria. I don't remember I think, that. I don't either. remember that either. Yeah, it's a counter service later in the day, but in the beginning of the day, it's Minnie's character breakfast. Oh, okay. Um and so you meet Minnie, but then the, the what's cool about it, so the food was not amazing. It was fine, and it was cafeteria style, which was a little strange. I wasn't used to that. But the characters are totally, like, random. So we met Max from uh, the Goofy movie. Yeah. Wow. You know, Goofy's son, Max. Okay. We met Minnie. We met Pooh and Tigger. Okay. We met the two mice from Cinderella. Okay. Yeah, that's very eclectic. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't come around while we were there, but I have seen Captain Hook there as well with mm. all of those. Okay. So it's just like a, an interesting mix of characters. So if you're a character person and you're looking for kind of a unique character experience, that's a good one to do because you can kind of get anybody. Whoever shows up to work that day. Yeah, whoever shows up to work that yeah. day. Yeah. So anyway, so we ate breakfast at the Plaza and then we went to Oga's. And what is cool about Oga's in Disneyland, the Disneyland Oga's is definitely better. Okay. They have different drinks from the Disney World one. So really? they're all new drinks to try. And their food options are so much better. They had a lot of different like snacks and food options. Oh, you know what? I never even looked at that. I never that tried one. it. Yeah. What would be a food option that you had that you couldn't have over at the one in Disney World? Yeah. Well, Disney World just kind of has those Batu bits, which is like those snack crisps. Do you right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had those? Yeah. So this one, they have like a, a pretzel knot. They call it the five blossom bread with mustard cream. It's like a creamy honey mustard. Wow. They yeah. had um, spiced washer pods. Washer pods. I'm not sure how you pronounce that space Never word, it. but yeah. yeah, it's spelled W-R-O-S-H-Y-R. It's edamame with sliced Whoa. cucumbers. Oh, okay, fair, fair. oh. <laughs> Citrus gochujang. Okay. A name. Okay. Yep. Um, they have Batu Wild's Bounty, which is a, basically a big charcuterie plate, um, mm. but it looked awesome. It was pastrami infused whipped cheese, Whoosh. mustard seeds fears pastrami, mm. chervil or chervil. Pickle Girl? ribbons, pickle mm. salt, served with warm focaccia bread. This thing looked great, guys. If you're looking for like a cool charcuterie platter, it looked great. We didn't have it, but I, it was next to us. And I was going to say, really but don't good. they have a charcuterie platter over at the one in Walt Disney World? They do, but at least the last time I saw it, it was like bologna and cheese sticks. Oh, wow. Oscar Mayer <laughs> had a cheese, didn't he? <laughs> was it good? A okay. charcuterie board I don't know if it's improved thing? since, but I the hope last so. time I saw it there, I was like, I'm not spending $20 <laughs> on that. I no, ain't spending $20 on Oscar Mayer. <laughs> <Some lot of, laughs> yeah. My charcuterie has a nickname. It's P-I-S-S poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the food options look great. I had a Coruscant cooler, which is Maker's Mark bourbon, um, maraschino, carpano, and cranberry juice and lime. It was great. That sounds, oh, at Oga's. That sounds delicious. Yeah, that's what I had at Oga's. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's interesting. Cool I didn't realize they had different food options over at the one in Disneyland. That's what yeah, I was. Yeah, it's like a di totally different menu. Now I want to go back. 
Speaking of food, we also later that day visited San Francisco, which is the new oh, um, yes. Pacific Wharf area. Yes. So they took the Pacific Wharf and they're changing it over to mm-hmm. San Francisco. San Francisco. Yes. It's going to be all Big Hero 6 themed. And uh, the food was great. They had sort of like a Chinese market station. Mm. They, they had these same sort of places before, but they've just sort of rethemed them. So nice. Chinese market station, they had the tacos, margarita place, the Carl Strauss beer. I had this incredible like beef ramen mm, from wow. the Chinese market. That it was excellent. My friend had birria tacos. Oh, I bet you're the good out there too. Yes, <laughs> they were. They looked great. And then she got the little Baymax uh, macaron, which looked really <laughs> good you. too. Yeah. So that place was great. So if you're looking for a good quick service, a really solid option is that San Francisco area. Good to um, know. So wait, did you did you go on Indiana Jones? In the, in oh, the- we did. Yeah. Okay, so good. actually right after dinner at San Francisco, we saw the new World of Color show. Oh, how was that? Yeah. So it's called World of Color One. Mm-hmm. It's for the Disney 100. And I really, really liked it. Um, I have not like full disclosure, I have not seen the regular World of Color show. Right. I did see the one for the 60th anniversary years ago. Mm. Um, and I thought that was good, but I liked this one better. I haven't seen any of them, one. to be honest. Yeah, I know Danny and Eli, I believe y'all have seen World of Color. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. She got to see the 100 one. I just want to see one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it a was beautiful good. show. It's yeah. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. gorgeous when I see the videos. And I want to see it in person. They had a really cool Marvel sequence. They had a really cool spy, um, Star Wars sequence. And then, you know, all your regular. They had a Coco. Oh, so. yeah. Now beautiful. we're talking. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. So I liked World of Color 1. And then we hopped back to Disneyland and we went on Indiana Jones. Yes. Um, and they just redid a couple of the effects in there. Oh, yeah. They have some more um, projections. Good. Yeah, I didn't remember it before, but I asked my friend, I was like, what is it that was different? And she said the biggest thing she noticed was the mask at the beginning. Mm -hmm. They did a whole like projection thing on the eyes to make it look like extra scary. To make you look at it? (laughs) Yeah, yes. Once you entered into it or before you chose the eyes? Before. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. They they wanted you to look at it. Right. So that they have this like projection mapping thing now that like the the eyes kind of light up and then it like falls down the face. You looked mm. into my eyes. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You are damned to hell. Yeah, exactly. I thought the projection so, mapping was gonna be to make Indiana Jones look older. Uh, oh no, they didn't do that. Nope. Um <laughs> <laughs> and so then we just did like a classic Disneyland night. We rode pirates, haunt, haunted mansion, big thunder, you know, you just did all of it because there's very little weights. What I will say, though, is we went in as the fireworks were ending. Mm. And because that park is old, right? It's from the 1950s. The pathways are very narrow. Yeah. yeah. There's like some point at the night where they flip on one way pathways. Oh. And they have like hordes of cats. And I don't remember this from before. This was not my first. Me Disneyland either. Visit, this time. I've never heard of this. They had hordes of cast members all over the place. And they turned every walkway into a one way street. Oh. And so we were just trying to get to Indiana Jones from Main Street, right? And so you would normally just go down Main Street and hang a left and Adventureland is right there on your left. And you sure. go in and Indiana Jones is like right there. Right, right. We had to go all the way up into Frontierland and around by Pirates in order to get down oh, into weird. Indiana Jones because they had turned all of that into one way paths. Oh, yeah, we had the same thing happen the next night when we watched the fireworks show in front of Small World. They turned everything into one-way paths. So instead of being able to exit out the park from Fantasyland, we had to go all the way around into Tomorrowland. Oh, wow. And then exit out the park That's Main Street wild. from there. Yeah, it was a bummer. Anyway, so just be aware of that if that they the pathways get kind of crazy after fireworks. Was the traffic just so bad that they had to do that or it was just I guess. I mean, it was. Yeah, there was a ton of people there. So, I yeah, I guess it was bad. But to me, it felt bad because I was like trying to go this way. And they were like, no, I was like, must go that way. Man, we live in the land of one way streets in New Orleans. So, yeah, yeah, totally used to that. But But yes, we just had a real easy night. That is awesome. Nice. That is awesome. I had the classic churro toffee. Have you had that? No. No. Where's that? Classic. It's like at all their candy stores now. The last two times i've been they have churro toffee everywhere it's their homemade toffee Uh and then they dip it in white chocolate and then roll it in churro 
cinnamon sugar. Spice, okay, yeah. It's so good. Sounds sweet. It's, yeah, really, really good. Yeah, I mean, it's sweet. Yeah, definitely. Well, but. did you ever eat any pretzel with any form of cheese in it? <laughs> I did walk by the Pepper Jack pretzel. Hey! Um, hey. I did not buy one, but oh. I did think of Josh every time. And I was like, <laughs> he would want that pretzel with a beer right now. Damn straight. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. yeah. Those pretzels are good. That's great. And then our, our last day, you know, I feel like there's less to this, less story to this because Disneyland is just so relaxed. You know, like mm-hmm. we, we took, we did a lot of like taking in the ambiance. We did a lot of walking back and forth between the parks. We would do a genie plus here and then we would get a genie plus there and, we kind of go back and forth and you just kind of take it as it comes. You know, yeah. there's less planning. There's less stress. That sounds lovely. Um, yeah, it was really lovely. We had breakfast the next morning at the Jolly Holiday Cafe. Yeah. We just sat out and looked at the castle and had coffee and pastries. It was really nice. Right. Mm-hmm. We had lunch at Carnation Cafe, which is a Disneyland classic no. right oh, on the that's street. Oh, a staple. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And the, what I'll say is California in general, the prices are bananas like sky high yeah. everything a cocktail twenty dollars and then yeah. on top of that you know it's just everything's expensive mm-hmm. we went to carnation cafe and that is just still a value i think i had a, a huge wedge salad and it was like fifteen dollars super reasonable that yeah that's good. not bad yeah that's not bad at all so i definitely recommend that place uh we rode web slingers on this day finally uh elizabeth had her her motion, Her motion sickness. sickness. Motion, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Control of it. And how'd you we do? We had a great time on Web Slingers. We did really well. I like Web Slingers. Do you guys like that one? I did not. No. You didn't, I didn't. like it? I know. I, really do. Yeah. I do think that, well, but there was a sense of The excitement. little girl kind of sapped. Yeah, she yeah. did kind of sap the energy out of there. It's like, just better be worth it. Yeah. Just better be worth it. Because we were waiting so long and it just opened up. Oh, it was new. Yeah. I would wish that they would have. Uh, emphasize more the Spider-Man mythology. That's just me personally as oh, a Spider-Man yeah. It's fan. not connected to the mythology at all. What did you like? Your, your arms did not hurt. Like, my arms hurt yeah, after doing, doing that. Yeah, doing that, that hurt. Yeah. yeah, so I did not do the full Spider-Man move. Mm. Oh, okay. We once had a cast member tell us when we checked in at the Grand Californian that if you just put two fingers up by your chest and you just go back and forth kind of like Almost like you're pretending to shoot a gun, yeah. okay? Right with your fingers, you still get the same effect as if you do the full. Is it faster doing it? Yeah, that and you way? can go way faster. Yeah, it's way less motion. Yeah, that doesn't hurt near as much. But yeah, uh, but it's not as fun. <laughs> fun is it's not as fun. No, it's not as fun. Am I signaling <laughs> that I'm a crip when I do this? No, you <laughs> got to do a dance with it too. You oh. got to be doing all that. Okay, well, as long yeah. as I'm not like flashing gang signs. I'm yeah, good. well, okay. we know about yeah. that from the last. Right. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so we we rode Web Slingers. That was great. And then I got to ride my very favorite attraction in any... Well, no, it's not my favorite attraction in any Disney park anymore. Oh, okay. It used to be. Okay. Mission Breakout, Guardians of the Galaxy used to be my very favorite attraction. But okay. now I, I like the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster at Ep- Epcot better. I like Cosmic Rewind. Cosmic wow, Rewind. so you're a really yeah. huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan. I am. And you know, I did not like that third movie, but that's okay. Don't feel bad, Rachel. I had to put my... I love those rides. I had to put my mentor in his place because he was a fan of the Guardians 3 movie. He's like, this movie gets an A. I'm like, sir. And this is a guy that, <laughs> when I was younger, inspired me to draw. That's how oh. much I, I respect the guy. I was like, sir, you are totally wrong, sir. Here's a link to the show. We review that, break that down. So you're not alone. Sometimes and- you got to set people on the correct path. So then this this evening was the one we went back and saw the fireworks in front of Small World. Oh, which nice. Is oh, wow. It's just yeah. a different... I wouldn't recommend watching it in front of Small World if you hadn't seen the show before. Like, watch it story, once yeah. on yeah. Main Street. Yeah, you missed the projections. Um, but for the yeah. second time, it was nice to be over by Small World because you can see the projections so much better. Yeah, that's nice. great. Yeah, that, is that was awesome. good. Love it. We did that, and then we got salt and straw ice cream yes. on the way Ooh. back. Nice. Um, I love salt and straw. I almost never go to the one in Orlando for some reason because in my head it's a California thing, so I do it in California. Fair. But mm. um, I got this like goat cheese berry habanero ice cream. It was oh. really good. Goat cheese, and that was goat really good. That does cream. not sound good. Yeah, that no, well, that's kind of their shtick if you have been to Salt and Straw is they have a I lot have of not. ice creams that sound terrible. Mm-hmm. But they're actually very good. Uh, I'm cur- I'll have to give it a shot. I've never tried it, but I'm, I'm curious now. They usually have one in October that has um, actual bug parts in it. 
Wait, actual say that what? again. Actual yeah. bug parts in it. Yeah, that is not an uncommon thing. There. Wait, you uh, said bug, bug parts? parts? Yes. Yeah, in your no. ice cream. You'd be like Volkswagen like bug. No. Like no. a little piece of wire. You, you don't mean, remember no. we did this whole story about how Creole Creamery over yeah. here did a Haunted Mansion style ice cream that had real insect parts no. or something uh, in the no. ice cream. Yeah. No. That's not an uncommon thing, I'll unfortunately, be, nope. anymore. No, nope. I don't need protein that bad. I got one of the vitamins <laughs> for that. Nope. 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 Mm-mm. I mean, the stats may say that we swallow a bunch of bugs throughout our lifetime, but I don't want, I don't know about them. Unless you're <laughs> driving 60 miles an hour in a highway that has bugs flying at you, that's the only way they should get your teeth. That's what mm. I'm thinking. Yeah. So close minded. I'm sorry. You know what? You're right. I, I, I <laughs> I'm, have I'm to see that. that. No. <laughs> if, I, if somebody orders it and then like eats it and then legit is like, oh my God, that's the best roach leg i ever had that i'll be like you know what <laughs> maybe i'm missing out i mean the only bugs i eat yeah. are crawfish so i'm gonna leave it at that no. yeah that's fair yeah, i'm th- sorry i just yeah. that that creeped me out i wanted to make sure i heard that right you, yeah. did. you did yeah this place always has some strange flavors so like this this month they have like a different theme every month to okay. their like signature series this month the theme is a summer picnic and okay. so they have chocolate potato salad ice cream chocolate they have chocolate potato potato salad. cinnamon salad. Cinnamon and honey fried chicken ice cream. What? what? Yeah. That's just kind of their thing. They do like kind of weird flavors, but then they have more, re- you know, normal stuff. So they have one that's um, chocolate. sour cherry pie. Like visually, that's best to be up. <laughs> Pink rosé and watermelon sorbet. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I can deal with the watermelon and, sorbet. Yeah. yeah. Baked brie and fig cheesecake. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm, just not a, I'm not really a big cheesecake person. Well, I like I like big brie and yeah. big cheese. Yeah, I'm trying to but still get over the chocolate cream. potato salad. They had yeah. one uh, yeah. for Thanksgiving. They had a turkey one. They had stuffing. Good lord, ice cream. No stuffing ice cream. Yeah. Mm. I would try yeah. it. I guess I don't know. Original turkey yeah. leg recipe ice cream. They got <laughs> why? Why would you want to have ice cream that reminds you of the meal you just had? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure about that because I loved it so much. I want to revisit. Yeah, we'll have seconds. <laughs> The theme in July when I was there was berries. Okay. So I had the, it was a berry goat cheese habanero ice cream. It was like spicy kind of. It was great. Huh? Okay. I mean, as hot as yeah. it's been, I would take a cold version of my dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cut out a step. We're yeah. talking about Thanksgiving though, Kev. That's, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. We're, that we're, we're good temperature. Would, right. would you like a side of fly with that? <laughs> yeah, that, that was it. That was my Disneyland trip. Um, we flew back out of LAX. I flew Spirit back. You lived. I'm I just did. Saying, you survived. You're yeah. an adventurous cross, lady. Cross country. We actually fly spirit a lot. I don't mind them at all. Um, one thing that they do that's unique is they have a system where you can bid on a better seat. What? <laughs> yeah. Which so, one will keep you alive? Like Hunger Games in the air. <laughs> oh Whoa. I like that. So they have these like their version of first class, right? Which isn't really a first class, but it's like a big seat in the front. Okay. One big seat. Well, there's two in a two row, but it's like a row for three, but you they only split up into two and the seats are more plush. They're like kind of almost like a recliner, but they don't recline. Ooh, okay. uh, and so normally it's like $160 to get that seat. You know, like you pay for your ticket, but then it's 160 more to have. Oh, the seat. Oh, okay, but if, okay. you, if you don't buy it ahead of time, you can bid on it. And so I bid forty dollars, <laughs> and I got it. Hey! Yeah, I was nice. so excited. So I got to sit in this big front seat on the way back, and it was great because we had bad storms on the East Coast, mm-hmm. and it took forever for them to get a flight path approved. So not only did it take a long time, and the plane was kind of running, but um, the the new flight path was going to be a lot longer. We had to go like a weird way to mm-hmm. get back to Boston safely, and so we had to refuel. So I ended up sitting on the tarmac for like 90 minutes. Oh, but yeah. you were in a comfy seat. But I had the comfy seat. Yay! There you go. Hey, hey. They kept the door open, you know, like the airplane door open because yeah. we were just sitting at the gate and it's Southern California. So we had like this beautiful breeze coming in and I'm right next to the door because I'm in the front seat. Mm-hmm. And anyway, it was very pleasant. So That's awesome. $40 well spent bid on the big front seat, folks. Nice. Nice. Hey, good you get yeah. cocktails with that or... No, the spirit. No, okay, okay. I was gonna say as long as the big seat was only the in the name. I can't even bring luggage, Danny. No, they didn't give me <laughs> big luggage. Spirit is only in the name, man. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, just the seats. 
That's a, but it was a nice seat. I always thought that was a scary name for an airline spirit, but <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. You're yeah. in the sky. Anything can happen. <laughs> hey, what, you know, spirit. Hey, yeah. What's up? That's awesome, man. Dude, what what yeah, a great trip Disneyland. report. I loved it. Yeah. Love Disneyland. Man, I makes me want to go back right now. Yeah, same. Let's go. I'm telling you what, that's that's a lot that you encounter and experience. But yeah, we did in a it, short amount of time. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. That's I great. think the only things we skipped at Disneyland and California Adventure were the things that had doubles, right? So, like, um, Winnie the Pooh is the same there and the same here. I'm so we skipped country. that. Yeah, I get like, that. Like, start uh, Galaxy's Edge. Everything's exactly the same. Uh, Except fair. for Oga's has a different menu. So we checked that out. Yeah. But yeah. Everything else is the same. So we didn't go on those rides at all. Um, we probably wouldn't have gone on Mickey and Minnie's except for the fact that we had seen that the queue was really cool, that like Mickey themed queue. So that's why we did that mm, one. Interesting. How long did y'all wait on that? Oh, we want, well, we didn't get a lightning lane for it on purpose so you because could see it. Yeah. Right. we wanted to see the queue. Sure. And it said it was a 40 minute wait. And we're like, that's perfect. We'll go in, we'll mm-hmm. make our way through the queue. Not a big deal. It's long enough, but not too long. Anyway, it ended up being like a walk on. Nice. What? Yeah, so we were the jerks. We were like, go around us, go around us. We're taking pictures. <laughs> 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 we're like, no, 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 just keep going. We, we're just here for the line. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was good. So, well, thank you for relaying your stories of Disneyland. Makes me want to go back like right now, like Dan yeah, said. 100%. Yes. I, I love that place. I, aside yeah. for the fact that my family's out there, but, you know, it's even better that, you know, they live close to Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're fun too. They also awesome yeah. I want to go back out there and, and hopefully we can do that. Yeah, I know Kirk loves them, my family, but uh, that's a whole <laughs> other story for another day. But, I know uh, Kirk <laughs> wanted me to get him the um, hot box oh, ghost right. zipper, and I was like, <laughs> I felt so bad because I was like, Kirk, I'm flying Spirit home. I don't have any luggage. <laughs> oh, I don't need a ghost. I'm all Spirit, Kirk. <laughs> I know. I, I was like, just go he's like, could you get me two? I was like. Kirk, I can't even get you one. I don't have, <laughs> I'm like not allowed to have a suitcase. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, oh man. spirit, love it. Can't even bring the spirits. Mm-mm. Well, thanks, Rachel. We definitely appreciate it. And look, if you want to book a vacation with Rachel to go out to Disneyland and experience all the stuff she did, we're about to tell you how to do that in just a little bit. Well, y'all, we hope you enjoyed that episode of the Magic Are We podcast. And look. You can go to magicrwe.com. That is the way to go if you want to find our social media links, past episodes, or more. Also, if you want to get in touch with us to share your opinions, you can do so through the following ways. First, shoot us an email at show at magicrwe.com, or you can call or send us a text message like JP did. Yes, I did say text us at 1815Moweekin. That is 1815Moweekin. 669-4226. And of course, we have a couple of people who do things outside of the podcast. First of all, we got Eli does things with comics. Eli, what's up? Yeah. Hey, what's happening? Uh, you can always visit the work that I do at ivorycomics.com. And when you go to that site, you can see everything I have, such as Project Geisha, Savages, and the Body Be Damned. All work is fully colored, at least 48 pages. The only ad in the book is for this podcast here. So that's pretty much more content for your book than what the big publishers would do for you because that's what I like to do for you. Of course, you get uh, blogs and interviews and a link to this podcast so you never miss a beat, never miss an episode. Appreciate your support right there. IvoryCommerce.com. Social media, you can find me there. Facebook, Eli H. Ivory, as long as you're a real person. Love to meet you. If you're a bot, don't need to greet you. Go ahead and get some ice cream with bugs in it. All I worry about. <laughs> okay. Also on Facebook, you can go to Project Geisha. has a Facebook page there, so check that out. Uh, Instagram, I post up the hearts and likes, so EIV504. You can find me there. And of course, on X, not Twitter anymore, X. That kind of works well with Marvel, right? Uh, it's, it's X. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find me at Hancock10166. So if you appreciate the madness, you just bringing me the gladness. Thank you very much for the love and support. And if you want to book a vacation, like I mentioned in the hub with Rachel to see all the wonders of Disneyland. Rachel, yes. how do you do this? I would love to help you book a trip to Disneyland um, or anywhere, but especially Disneyland if you haven't been yet, because you got to go. You got to try it. I cannot recommend it enough, especially for people who love Walt Disney World. Mm-hmm. You're going to love it. Awesome. It's- it's all the things you love about Walt Disney World, but just easier. <laughs> so, yes, yes, easier, better, 
more yeah. thought out. Yes. Yes. But yeah, I would love to help your family make magic wherever you'd like to travel. Uh, you can find me at Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, at magicourway.com. You can also find me on social media. I'm about to be traveling to Bermuda and Royal Caribbean, and I'll be posting about that trip as well. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok sometimes. I'm trying to do more there. Uh, my handle is at R, the letter R, Family Magic. So R Family Magic. Please give me a shout out. You can also call, text me. I have a phone number That's if that's easier for you. And that is 978-432-WISH. And there's no extra cost to book with me. It just helps out this podcast and this fan community. And it gets you going where you want to be with a great travel advocate. And you can book uh, Royal Caribbean cruises, you said? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Love it. Love a lot of good stuff there. And so... Y'all, if you want to access all the info we just mentioned, go to magicourway.com forward slash about us. Also, if you want to elevate your support of the Magic Way podcast, go to patreon.com forward slash magicourway. There you will find six awesome tiers to support this show. Any way in which you can support the show is deeply appreciated. We also want to thank you for being a loyal listener, and we always love hearing from our listeners. All opinions are always welcome on the Magic Way podcast, so make sure you get in touch with us today. To my weekends, we say Quahirini. My name is Kevin. And I'm Danny. Magic out.